All right, guys, time for a random video. Not really a guide video or anything, but uh, I rebuilt my SSB because I finally have Rheingars. If you guys follow my channel, you know I didn't get it last year, so I freaking used a thousand bookmarks to get a few copies this year, plus dirtied it immediately using bottles, and I kind of re-geared her so that she's actually usable in PvP. Now, ideally, I would ditch this amulet for like an attack amulet and just stack her up on as much attack as possible um, maybe even put her on attack set but i just don't have the gear for it um i really wanted to get her to more like 1400 defense 1600 hp or 16k hp and like 4500 attack and just rely entirely on rheingars because it ignores most of their defense you can literally use rheingars as her like entire damage source totally busted and then I could completely ignore her crit chance and crit damage. But as it works out um, with my stats, it just, just made the most sense. I put her on immunity just so she doesn't get screwed over on the first turn anymore. And uh, her offensive stats aren't so great. She's not going to be great in hunt or anything. But let's try her out in PvP. Um, Rheingars is just such, such a good artifact, guys. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, like, Hey, I already got SSB. Is it worth it for me to pull it? Well, if you watched my video, you know that I think it is because I did it. I pulled for her um, artifact even though I already had SSB. So we're just going to do some auto matches and see how much damage my SSB does with this new toy. And just show how great that this artifact really is. And it's even great against things like Remnant Violet and stuff because even when you miss it still does a ton of damage. It's just totally busted. So, uh, looks like they have decent effectiveness, like my whole team got stunned. Look at that Rheingars take so much damage. Ah, now my FCC's gonna get pushed back. No problem. My FCC's getting just pummeled here. Alexis Basket, more counters from SSP. Uh, this Araminta just dies. And my healers can't do anything because they're all stunned. Um, Arbiter's gonna come back and probably massacre us here, but no big deal. Athletica dies to Rheingars. <laughs> Raider attack again. Uh, and crit. So this is gonna hurt. Ooh, SSP actually survives. Look at that Rheingars at work. So, um... Actually, just in case... Ah, fine, I'll just auto. I was gonna say I want her to revive SSP since this is a Rheingar showcase. We'll I'll let Ruel pick and uh, keep it true to the auto form. SSP, SSP! Ah, she took FCC. That's fine too, though. Um, we're gonna win here. Okay. We'll let uh, FCC do the work if that's what Ruel wanted. Going for Mursa, which is not ideal. Should probably just kill the Arbiter. But uh, hey, to each their own. It's a life steal, Mursa. Oh, we still kill her. All right, so this auto is a success. Um, SSP did most of the damage, obviously. That Rheingar's damage is just so freaking good. Like uh, I've noticed that my SSP is like at least twice as scary than when I had her on Rosa. Rosa's a good backup artifact if you don't have Rheingars, but it doesn't help her S3 at all. It doesn't really help her S1 at all outside of um, dual attacks. Let's try this thing. Um, what's up with all these Araminthas? I'm gonna get stunned again, um, but whatever. Um, yeah, fine. Oh, I need to get more flags. But uh, if you guys want to copy my team, this is actually a pretty solid auto team. I don't really like doing arena. I find it pretty boring. Um, so when the team permits, I just prefer to just bring this team with Rheingars nowadays and just auto it and not pay attention. It takes longer than cleaving, but cleaving you have to do manually. So sometimes I'd rather just not have to do anything at all. Um pushes back my FCC again. I'm really just bringing her to uh, keep the immunity on my SSP. 
there we go. We'll remove the skill nullies. Uh, this Araminta is going to stun my whole team again, except SSP. Uh, oh, my Ruel resisted. Uh, Remnant goes on Ruel because she's light. Another counter from SSB. Look at this, Athletica is almost dead already. <laughs> uh, Crayon goes on Ruel. Pickles her again. Oh, whoops. Wasn't on auto. So I really like to save this for SSB, but whatever. Auto god time. Now watch. SSB is just gonna dunk their whole team. Doesn't even have attack buff because the end got stunned. Doesn't matter. Alright. <laughs> so now my team's dumb, so they're gonna go on a crayon. That's fine. That's fine. Alright, this should proc another counter. Do, 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 do. The Rhyngars almost kills the Remnant Violet. Um, we're all healing something. Uh oh, here comes another counter. See you later, Remnant. Dude. Alright, so another team autoed. Like, look at that Rhyngars then. My SSP doesn't even have a particularly high amount of attack. She's at 3,800 without attack buff. There are um, SSPs out there that have like 4,500, even like 5,000. Um, this team also has an SSP. That's scary. Um, so our SSPs are probably going to go in like a ping pong counter match, but I have faith in my SSP. That's a plus 30 Rheingars on her. This is a Rheingar showcase video. Full auto. Alright, their FCC is faster than mine, which I actually like. Um, so I'll remove their skill nullifiers before I start countering. So my Dan's going to put up attack buff. And then a cart is going to trigger my SSB counter, and then their SSB is going to counter me. I won't tolerate this. Doop. Not going to do anything to my Ruel unless it's a weird air a cart. Yep. Here's my counter. They have no skill, Nelly. We get countered. Death break on my FCC though. All right, dunking time. Hit him. Pretty good damage on the uh, FCC. The anti crit works on Ruel, so she's fine. Ruel heals herself. Dn removes the death break. And look, the uh, Rheingar's damage also goes through evasion pretty much, so also a great perk. Now my SSP counters again. That SSP will counter me again. So Rheingar is actually great against ML Violet. Alright, FCC goes down, which is great. Cut a lot of this damage mitigation out. And my SSB is going to um, counter again soon. Where are we going on? Oh, Remnant. This Prox's little thingy goes on my DN and crits her through anti crit. No big deal. You know, guys, I predict. If you guys watch my ML Violet uh, initial impressions video, I predicted that it wouldn't be that great. And uh, some people called me out on it. They're like, you don't know what you're talking about. And uh, honestly, he has his uses, and I'm not gonna. By no means is he bad, but people were like, "Evasion meta is here. Everyone's screwed if you don't have ML Violet and blah blah blah." And I was just like, "Eh, really? I don't think so." And I think um, that's kind of worked out to be the case. Like I watched an RTA champion video, and that's exactly how it played out. People just ignored the Remnant Violet until the last turn and just overwhelmed them with damage and saved them until the last one, which is effectively the exact same way you deal with regular Violet. So, um, 
I don't know. I don't want to say I told you so, but uh, he's definitely good and he's an excellent last pick. If they drafted a team that doesn't have an answer to ML Violet, I think he's a really, really scary last pick in RTA, so I'm still going to say he's quite good, but um, he's not the super OP Omega low hero that some people were trying to claim he was going to be, right? I think that was a little bit overblown. It's here. And uh, a lot of times, they also have to kind of like telegraph um, that they're picking M ML Violet, because to make him really scary, what a lot of people do is they have to draft like five heroes that won't count, um, that will support ML Violet. A lot of teams will try to stack him up with buffs so that Violin doesn't get rid of his evasion, things like that. All right, so there we go. Jesus, look at that Rheingar's damage. And like I said, my SSP is not a super offensive SSP. She's on immunity set with 15k life. And uh, this whole team is melting, just melting. So Arbiter's back. Blip, 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 blip. My SSP is going to be able to counter again shortly. Um, looks like she's, my FCC is just going to dunk their FCC. Their Remnant Violet is about to uh, S3 again, but the Rheingars is doing big damage to him. We'll just ignore this ML Violet's damage, whatever. Yeah, thanks for that back massage. <laughs> Look at that Rheingars, they just dropped dead. So pretty much um, I autoed this entire page. I mean, you guys saw it. This one's going to be annoying because uh, my DN... I only have a Cleanser built, um, and Dizzy's going to permanently disable my team. Um, if I don't have DJ Basar, I don't think my DJ Basar or Ray have any gear, so F it for the purposes of the showcase and Ryan guys. I'm just gonna auto this too, although I don't I think I might lose to this if I try to auto it, because um Okay, here's what I'll do. I won't fully auto this. I know I'm cheating, but uh, otherwise this match is going to take freaking forever. So I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to wait until Lencia does her trap, and then I'm going to put up attack buff and completely dispel my SSB with Ruel. Oh, actually, I didn't have to dispel SSB at all. That was dumb because uh, she has immunity. But that's what the speed to me, because Alencia is about to strip SSP's immunity. Um, what is this Dizzy on? Doesn't look like she was on violin. There we go. We get a uh, stripped here. Yep, SSP gets stripped. Um, oh, we got stunned. Let's just work on this. I'm sure Fortune will be on our side today as well. Uh, screw it. We'll heal up. Whatever. FCC. Okay. I think we could just go back to autoing now. And uh, they have Alencia, which is very strong against SSP. Um, we're getting countered too, apparently. There we go, and we'll hope my SSP does enough damage to deal with them through defense buff. And they have an A-Momo, which is going to be cleansing all the time. Pushes back my SSP. It's going to trigger another counter. Whap, 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 whap. Yen does some cleansing action. Hopefully this Dizzy just doesn't chain stun me to death. Um, like I said, I might lose this. No big deal. I think I still autoed four out of the five on this page. All right, SSP, go dunk. And worst case scenario, I can burn SSP and turn it back to manual. She didn't land a single debuff. Wow. Countered again. Uh, no stuns. So Ooh, nice. Oh, perfect. Dizzy's dead. <laughs> so, uh... The semi-auto still worked out. Ow! Leave her alone! No! It's okay, Ruel's there, so um, we might just end up autoing this whole page. Ruel to the rescue! 
Ah, very refreshing, very refreshing. Alright. Alright. Um, we gotta kill this Amomo now. She's probably... Does she have her S3 up? Oh no, she doesn't. Oh, nice! Go Rheingars! Flip! <laughs> this artifact is so busted. I mean, I couldn't... I could still use SSP before, don't get me wrong, but she was nowhere near as good without Rheingars. Like, I was always so pissed off that I didn't have Rheingars because when I burst people that had it, like, it was so obvious that their SSP was so much better than mine, and it was just because of this artifact. The fact that it ignores defense, the fact that it could do busted things like, um, let's say for example, it's your turn and you're up against uh, someone with skill nullifier, right? When you attack them with your counter, if you didn't have Rheingars, you cannot kill them. With Rheingars, the S2 will remove the skill nullifier, and then the Rheingars tick comes afterwards. So you can one-shot people who would otherwise not be killable because of things like skill nullifier. And that's why Rheingars is so good. It enables things that are otherwise impossible. Like if a K-Ron is unbuffable it, and it blocks the immortality, it'll still prevent them from dying, but with Rheingars, it will do the extra tick. The first hit will trigger the immortality, and the second tick will kill him. And those are the, just the kind of cool things that Rheingars allows. So um, this one wasn't a full auto, but I think it was close enough. It was like a, a semi-auto. I just wanted a manual that first turn. And uh, with good old SSB, we uh, kind of cleared out this whole page, I think. Was it the whole page? On auto with this team. And this is champion tier. This is champion tier. Now notice, I only hit her for 1500, but it ticked for another 1600. So more than 50% of the damage there was just from Rheingars. And that's why Rheingars is so busted. Like, if Rosa, well, I would have done next to nothing to her. Alright, so, um. I don't know if I did one before, but, uh. A little promotion there. We uh, pretty much cleared that whole thing on auto with SSB. Um, which of these teams? They, Rowanas? Who's putting Rowanas on defense? Let's try to auto this with uh, SSB. Kind of scary because it has both a Charles and an ML Ken. This will be the last one. If I die here, I die here. This isn't the best team because they also have immunity from uh, DJ Basar. Um, so they're all going to go first and get attack buff up, because that's going to be the fastest character on the board for sure. Yep. Actually, that ML Ken's so slow, um, we're still going to cut him. Click that auto button. Charles is going to go, we'll remove this skill Nully. Oop. This will trigger a counter. We'll move the skill nullifier, so that's fine. Um, we can't death break here because of the freaking uh, DJ Basar. Must have crit the ML Ken. Hopefully, we don't trigger an Elbrus because with both Elbrus and ML Ken, um, SSP could be dead dead over here. Dangerous team to attack with an SSP auto team. Did trigger a counter from Charles. Still doing a ton of damage to them. Here comes ML Ken. Ooh, decreased defense on everyone. Nice, heals up my SSP is what I wanted. Alright, who's my team gonna go on? FCC, right? Water's Origin propped from a FCC attack? Interesting. <laughs> Look at this Rheingar's damage. Nothing even crit. She only has 75% crit chance right now. Still, I bricked all four crits. That's interesting. Alright, so FCC is down. Um, unfortunately, once my team starts attacking into ML Ken, um, that will look kind of bad. 
GG is Basar is about to go down here. Do, 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 do. Another counter from SSP. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no, he one shot at him. Alright, so there we go. Another team autoed by this comp. Um, ooh, this Charles actually hits pretty hard. But uh, no problem. Dien has um, her self healing coming up now, so that will save her. And FCC is going to be provoking her in Jazz. Stop countering and just die. Very disappointed. I'm disappointed in you too. There we go. 4,700, 6,200 with the Rhyngar's tick. Wells on the case to save Dien, I guess, even though there's no reason to. Alright, so my team is uh, nice and top top now. Whap! Jesus, look at these lag spikes. Alright, so uh, I think we'll end it there. I think, um... We've also figured out that this auto team is pretty damn solid, but uh, someone on the Discord asked me for like a Rhyngar showcase video, or maybe it was on a YouTube comment, and there it is. I think uh, my SSP is way better now than it used to be, and um, this is why you guys need Rhyngars, guys. Like normally I'd say if you don't have enough bookmarks to skip the artifact, but really, honestly, like you can watch other YouTubers out there if you don't believe me. I think to make your SSP really top tier in PvP, you need Rhyngars. If you want to just use her in PvE, then feel free to skip it. You can just use like DDJ or something. But for PvP, Rhyngars is the shit. Absolutely go for it. And uh, I think we'll just wrap this video up. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and sub. Until next time. Peace out, boys.